Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial about Microsoft Sentinel workbooks. The Sentinel workbooks are your customizable dashboards for the powerful and real-time security insights. In this video, you will learn how to create and manage the Sentinel workbooks to visualize, investigate and monitor your logs, alerts and incidents. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Well, the first thing first, what are Sentinel workbooks? The Sentinel workbooks are the interactive dashboards that help you visualizing the log data, monitoring the threats, investigating the incidents using the built-in or the custom KQL queries. You can collect the data from various sources and display in a single window. You also can call it the single pane of glass where you visualize everything within your organization from various data sources. Well, as we have understood what the Sentinel workbook is, now it is time that why shall we use these workbooks to understand it. Well, these workbooks offer the real-time visibility across your environment they bring together the multiple data sources. They provide the customizable visual reports that are tailored to your security operations requirements. If I talk about the real world use cases, the Sentinel workbooks can be used for threat hunting, for behavior analysis, for incident investigation or for response purpose and for even high level executive reporting purpose. Talking about the best practices to use these workbooks, you should keep your workbooks clean and efficient by using the clear naming, naming conventions, smart filters, simple visuals and monitoring their performance regularly. The Microsoft Sentinel workbooks give you the visibility and flexibility that is required for these modern security operations today. Well, let's dive into the demonstration where I will show you how to create and manage these workbooks in Microsoft Sentinel. Workbooks, open the Azure portal, portal.azure.com and the Microsoft Sentinel. You can search it from the free search on the center of this Azure portal. Open your Sentinel workspace. In the Sentinel solution, we have the workbooks under the threat management. We can open these workbooks from here. After this, you have to decide that whether you want to use the existing workbooks or you want to create from scratch. You have several templates under the workbooks. These templates are onboarded when you add the solutions from the content hub. For an instance, if I take you to the content hub and show you onboarding a solution from here, for an instance, I take this uh, one password or a solution from Aruba clear pass. So for this, when I check the solution, it shows that what resources come along with this solution. So I do not have any workbook in this. I can go with some other solution for an instance Apache Tomcat. So I have one workbook that will be onboarded if I install this solution to my Sentinel workspace. Well, as soon as the installation is completed, I will see the workbooks in my Sentinel solution. I can go back to the Sentinel workbooks and show you that there will be the templates available from these solutions. These are the various templates. As far as using these templates is concerned, so it's quite straightforward. You have to just choose the workbook template and then you need to save it with your name, whatever the friendly name you want to provide to it. You can view the template also that will apply to your data in your workspace on the tables that you have in your Sentinel workspace. And if you want to see these uh, templates, like how they look like, how the data is presented. So either you can see this from here or because I have already used these templates so I can see them under my workbooks and I can open one of that from here. So I can click on view saved workbooks to display this data. 
So this is the single pane of glass I was talking about. So this is the markdown text with a heading. There are criterion filters that I can use to filter the data as per my requirement. For an instance, this is coming up with 90 days. I can change it to let's say last 30 days of data I want to see. So it will change accordingly. This is the, uh, the visual interface where I can see all these live tiles and I can see these interactive dashboards over here. I can set up the auto refresh for this for an instance I want to do it every five minutes so I can see this interactive dashboards so the sentinel workbooks over here well now that I have uh, shown you how I can use the existing templates that come with the solution now it is time to create your own sentinel workbooks to do that you have this button called add workbook you need to click on it and then you can start with your workbook from here. You have different sections in this workbook. You can click on edit button and you can edit each section or you can add more sections over here after this. So here is the markdown text. In the markdown text, we have the headings and subheadings which are defined with these hashes. So for an instance, this is for audit log analysis. I want to use this workbook for I can provide a subheading with this second uh, I mean two hashes so enter ID audit log or audit log analysis after this I can provide the paragraph with any detail so this is for demo use you can click on done editing once you are done with this uh, editing so this is the section which shows you the markdown text as you have mentioned then you can edit the second section into it and here you can write the kql query to query the required data for an instance i want to call the audit logs and uh, from the audit logs for an instance if i run this query so it shows me the audit logs from the sentinel workspace i already have the connector connected so it shows those logs let me run it here we go audit logs and these are the audit logs now if i want i can use the pipe and i can use some criterion filters like where time generated time time generated greater than equals to ago and uh, i use some uh, time span for an instance i want to see this for three days so this will show me the logs of the last three days over here so I can define the time generated or any other attribute I want to use. Now after that I can pipe it into uh, some other operators I can use. For example I want to aggregate this data maybe based on the operation name property. So I can summarize and uh, I can count this data. I use this count function and then I want to use this operation by operation name. So it will do that aggregation of the data based on the um, operation name if i want to visualize that i can use render for an instance i want to make a pie chart for this so right now it is a table so i can go with pie chart and run the query this is the render operator i have already covered the kql in my previous videos in the se 200 playlist so you can watch the uh, playlist and all the videos covering the kql so here is the data and uh, now once I'm done with this I can uh, save this uh, section now in that other audit log workbook I shown you there was a parameter uh, a list of parameters as well over there so if you want to add them how do you add these so you have the option to add the additional sections for the text images videos parameters so for an instance i want to add the parameter so i can add them this way now this section is coming at the bottom but i want to move it up one level up so this comes between the markdown text and the, the before the query and i can now add the parameters as per my requirement there are several types of parameters i can use text drop down time range picker so as per my requirement i can choose them for example, I want to give the users flexibility to enter the number of days they want to query the data from. So I can use this time range picker and choose what exactly I need. 
I also can use the parameters like text, drop down. So these are the different types of parameters. I will put the MS Learn documentation link uh, for these parameters where they have been explained and they are also self-explanatory. You can hover over your cursor to these parameters and you can understand that what each requires. Now I provided a friendly name for example days and this is the display name for this and if I want to provide it a value so I can set the value over here for example three days I'm setting over here as default and then I save this parameter. Once I'm done with that I'll click on done editing. Now if I provide a value over here three days so the data is same I provide 30 days it does not make any difference. Why? Because in the query that parameter has not been used. In the query we have hard coded value which is three days so in that case i will replace it with the variable so i'll call the variable using the curly braces and the variable name is days so the parameter that i created over here that will replace the value and now i will save this query i'll click on done editing now as soon as i go with the 30 days so i see that there are 186 operations but if i reduce it to let's say five days or some other number of days so this will be supplied to the query accordingly and the operations will come accordingly i have used the text based just for your demonstration purpose but it could be time range picker i could have used over here uh, as a better option drag down dra dra uh, drag down uh, uh, we have we have different types of parameter types that we can use in the workbooks well this is how i can create a workbook what if i want to have a workbook I have invested a lot of time and I want to use it as a template so I can go to the advanced editor over here from the advanced editor I can export this as a template this is the JSON template or in fact I can use the templates from the gallery or the ARM templates I can use for an instance I have the sentinel github repository so you can google it or I'll put the link of this repository in the uh, description of the video so here is the repository on github which is a public feed it is a public repository as you see this is azure sentinel uh, feed and uh, this is a public feed now there are a lot of resources available over here as well for an instance the workbooks are here so you can pick the workbooks from uh, this list and then you can use them for an instance i want to use the azure activity or azure ddos so whatever the data connector or data type you are using so you can use it according to that uh, uh, data connector these workbooks from here for an instance i use this azure active directory sign in i open this template this is a json file as you have seen i can copy this raw data from here i can also do the arm template deployment but i'm copying this raw data because i already have that in the raw form over here and you also need to check that if the template has some values that you have to replace for example you're using as your activity so you have to provide the subscription id workspace etc so that detail you can provide you can supplement that in in this it will be mentioned over here so anything that has been parameterized because the developer will not uh, um, you know disclose that subscription id or their own value so they need to be changed once you're done with that then you can apply these settings this arm template and now you will notice that the template has been applied on the entra id data and i can see the last 14 days of data i can use this template to edit and see the parameter types what type of parameters are these i can use it for my self-learning purpose as well so these are the parameters these are some values that have been set as default for these parameters and uh, then how they have been used in the query so you can open this query section which shows you the sign in activities so how it has been used over here so you see this curly braces has been used to call those parameters into it so I'll click on done editing to see this uh, uh, single pane of glass, this workbook, which shows me all the information. So be it the uh, sign in trend over the time that has taken place in my directory from what accounts the sign in has happened. Then uh, I have the options available here, all sign in success, failures and uh, pending user action. So these failures are actually to uh, simulate some risks on the entra tenant for the sessions or the recordings I used. And then here we have the country, the uh, sign in devices. So logins have been uh, done from the Mac OS, Android, iOS, Windows 10, Mac OS. So these are the device platforms. 
So the, this is the overall data that has been collected and visualized into this single interactive dashboard. I hope this video was informative to you. You got a fair understanding of working with Sentinel workbooks, which are actually nothing but the Microsoft Azure monitor workbooks that have been taken over here. So if you are into the security operations or the Azure uh, operations, administration and operations, so you, you need to know or you must know about these workbooks to visualize the data. Well, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe it for future updates and videos.